Hello ladies and gents, now in this video we're going to talk quickly about um, sometimes uh, how uh, st teachers might share online quizzes or um, quiz style at the assessment. So I've got an example here uh, and you can see it's a new assessment, business growth assessment. So in this example it's a business uh, related or business studies related task. So if I click on this, it will take me straight to... Um, it's fine, cross off, um, to the form. So you can see there's a form. It gives you some instructions, title here, just like before. Open the assessment below, attempt every question, read every question carefully before choosing or entering your answer. Um, now, if it says here your work assign, add or create, this might be useful uh, if a teacher is asking you to send something you created yourself. So maybe a post or something like that you've saved in your computer. So you may want to click on that and you can actually add additional items um, attachments basically anything on Google Docs slides and sheets or drawings can go from here if it's a file that you have in your computer a link to something or something from Google Drive it allows you to add additional items so anytime you see add or create here that's what it will allow you to do over here you'll see there's a a form which basically means that's a test on the right hand side there's actually a website link so in this example what they the teacher would actually which what he or she is asking you to do is look at this or so open it up revise through this or recap the learning from this resource so in this example it's a website it could have been a web page sorry a, a, a scanned page it could have been a worksheet worksheet it could have been a um, I don't know um, a video it could be any, any number of things but in this case as I said it's a website you go down you do what you would expect so you read through this if there's any PowerPoints videos you go through that and then when you're ready you go back over here and open up the form now the form if uh, done properly it's uh, quite clever so you type in your name or if it asks for your name so name and then you read the question. What's a monopoly? Uh, good, yeah, I'm going to answer that one there. Why does a business benefit from growth? Um, more market power. Um, what does economies of scale? Lower unit cost. Uh, what is hiring more staff? An example of it is internal growth. Um, what is spreading overheads? Uh, over a large level of output? An example of economies of scale. So I'm going to click submit. Once you're happy, uh, it will ask you do you want to see your score so we click on view score now of course I rush through this because uh, I know the answers you will take your time and in this example I've only got five questions you may have more than that so what's really good about this is that you can actually find out how well you're doing after each uh, chapter or topic uh, if your teacher uses this type of assessment so it'll tell you exactly what you got right and or wrong and the total score comes up at the top as well Okay, and it's the same thing as before. Once you're happy, you can cross it off, cross it off. It saves automatically. The teacher will know exactly what you got as well, and you might get a, a huge pat on the back when you uh, see your teacher next.